Midjourney version 5 just released late yesterday, and today we're going to take a look at what it's capable of in terms of producing UI UX designs. Now, for those that don't know, Midjourney is a generative image AI that's capable of taking your text input and outputting some really awesome images and photographs. Oh, and layouts too. So here's the first prompt I issued. A clean website landing page for a breakfast restaurant that makes waffles use a yellow, black, and white color scheme. Now for now you have to specify version five for the version five results. Now here's what it came up with. Overall, this is a very solid first attempt. It used the yellow, black, white color scheme, but as you can see, it still screws up the text, but it does offer solid layout ideas. I like the top right one and here it is upscaled. Not bad for just helping you generate color scheme and layout ideas. Now make sure to stick around because I'm also gonna take one of these designs and make it polished in the end. Now here's another prompt, a dashboard design for a cryptocurrency service that shows the current Bitcoin price, stats, minimalistic version five AR169. Overall, not bad at all. It looks like it has some nice charts and I like the one on the lower right corner. So here's that upscaled. Now you can also issue a prompt in the form of an image URL. So I issued a prompt with this image here to see if it would output that design in a device mockup. And here's what it came up with. As you can see, it used the same color scheme. It recognized that there were charts in the original image. So overall, it didn't do that bad of a job mirroring the image that we fed it in a device mockup format. I saw another user issue this prompt for a vape web design but they forgot to add the version five tag at the end. And this is the result of that default version four. I then decided to issue the same exact prompt except add on the version five tag at the end. I actually like the version five option more, but it really doesn't seem that superior. It's just stylistically different. Here's another prompt, testimonial section with large testimonial and three smaller testimonials underneath, UI, UX, web design, purple and white color scheme. And here's the result. And here's the result. The only option here that seemed to give me what I asked for is the upper right corner. There's a large testimonial up top and then three different cards underneath, which could be construed as testimonials. Overall, you could easily take this and use it for layout inspiration. Now, having said that, let's do exactly that. Let's say you found a layout for inspiration along with a color scheme, and now it's time to make it a high polished design. Here's a time lapse of me working on one of the vape layouts. Here's the original image from Mid Journey. And here's the polished version that I created in Figma. As you can see, pretty awesome stuff. Utilizing generative AI for color scheme and layout ideas can be really useful, especially if you're someone who has a hard time with layouts and colors in general. If you enjoyed this video, check out designcourse.com where you can learn UI, UX, CSS, and more with my custom interactive platform that makes learning fun and easy.